What's up, tribe? How you guys doing? This is going to be your review for family or fiance. And we have Jamarcus and Brian. Now, let me tell y'all about Jamarcus and Brian. So, Jamarcus and Brian, they met, on a, they met online and they went out on a date and basically fell in love, been together ever since. <clears throat> now, the biggest thing in their situation is that Brian's, Jamarcus's family does not like Brian. Okay? Brian's family seems to be fine with Jamarcus, but when it comes the other way around, they're they not crazy. Um, the For Brian, is that's coming. Oh, wait a minute. Do I have this right? Hold on. For Jamarcus, who we have coming is mom, his best friend, and, his, and the sister-in-law. And for Jamarcus, no, no, no. Sorry, had it the other way around. For Jamarcus, it's, it's mom, best friend, sister-in-law. And then for Jamarcus, it's his uncle, his brother, and his cousin. Um, they have some concerns over money management. And so the um, Jamarcus, Jam, yeah, Jamarcus's family is going to be sitting down with Brian, going over his five-year plan and his money plan. And then Jamarcus is going to be playing 20 questions with Brian's family. The problem is, though, like, as soon as... Um, Jamarcus's family got there first, and like literally, as soon as they walked in the door, it was a problem. Um, Brian already was on the defense because he felt like Jamarcus did not have his back. Jamarcus did not defend him. That Jamarcus let his family basically, you know, talk however they wanted to talk about him, and then and he was like, "And Jamarcus is a mama's boy," and he was like, "I can't compete with that." And at a certain point, you have to grow up. And you can't be up under your mother. Like, you have to allow me to be, to take care of you. You have to allow me to be your boyfriend, your mate. Now, I agree 100% from that point of view of, we all know that, you know, that's that scripture that, you know, you leave your you leave your mother and cleave to your wife. And so, um, I mean, in this situation, it's a husband, it's not a wife, but it's the same concept, like, it can't be mama, 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 mama if you're in a relationship. So from that point of view, I understood where Brian was coming from. My problem with Brian is how he chose to express that. Brian was very disrespectful. Very disrespectful. I mean, he was, I mean, maybe this is something y'all are okay with, but he calling Jamarcus's mama by her first name. The sister-in-law, Crystal, she came in there with an attitude. I agree. She walked in the door on 20. Um... And it immediately, they had an argument before Brian's family even got there. And it, it even got physical to the point where Jamarcus smushed Brian and then they separated them. And so my biggest issue is, forget all that other stuff, that was one of the things that they said was that when they argue, it gets physical. See, got a problem with that. And I feel like in same-sex relationships, we do not look at domestic situations the same way. Um, I've had friends who are in same-sex relationships, and when they fight, they straight up be going at it. And I, I just feel like it's still a domestic dispute, and I just don't feel like people are taking it as serious as they should because that that argument escalated so fast, and it went, it got physical so quick. Like, had nobody been there to pull him off of him, like, I think they would have straight up been going at it. And mind you, this is before the other family even showed up. What is I got a piece of hair. Sorry, y'all. That was before the other family even even showed up. Okay, I got it. Um, so then when Brian's family did get there, of course, then he felt like he had some allies and, and they were talking and, you know, he was telling them about what happened. And then um, there was another little dust up, you know, it was another little, and I was just like, I mean, you know, Jamarcus's mom is crying, and she's like, is this who you really want to marry? Like, it was, at that point, I was like, this is ridiculous. Like, I'm not giving nobody no blessings. Like, if I'm in the family, I ain't giving nobody no blessings. Because, one, we have to deal with these issues, but two, the violence and the quick to anger. Two, I mean, Brian went from like zero to 100. And don't get me wrong, Marcus, Jamarcus matched his energy. Jamarcus matched his energy. Now, the task, they went to the blessing ceremony, and needless to say, child, nobody gave them their blessing. Uh, and they were worried about the fact that, you know, Brian's family was cool with the relationship, but 
they were having an issue with the um, them being ready for excuse me, them being ready for marriage. Like like they were you know they were there for them being together. They supported their relationship, but they didn't know about the marriage piece of it. And of course, Jamarcus' family was just one hundred and twenty percent against it. Now I got here's my other issue. Mama said that she's against it because she just doesn't believe in same sex unions. So my thing is, she ain't never going to give you her blessing. So why is mama even here? I mean, I get it that that's his mom and it's out of respect. But at the end of the day, mama ain't going to never give you her blessing. She just told you that she doesn't even believe that it's morally right. So that was a wasted, that was just some wasted energy. However, I do feel like it was needed because they got a lot of things cleared up. So, you know, there was still the blessing there. So the, um, of course, when they had to go into their little groups, Jamarcus's family showed up with a whole attitude for Brian. Because I mean, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't get to the blessing ceremony. So at the blessing ceremony, it got real disrespectful when it got to Jamarcus's side of the family. I mean, Brian, he called his cousin, uh, uh, what did he call her? Told her she had a dry weave ass bitch, and he cut her, you know, he cut his mother off and was like, okay, whatever, fine, all right, fine. And I was like, so these are the people that you're trying to get them to like you, and you are being so disrespectful right now. Um, so when they got ready to do the whole money management thing, they had, they were convinced that Brian was a bum, that Jamarcus was paying all the bills, and when he called to borrow money, it's because um, Brian didn't make any money and Jamarcus was covering all the bills. Well, Brian started breaking down, he's a tattoo artist, and he started breaking down what he makes and how he spends his money. And he was like, you know, I don't drive, but I take care of the car. Like, if the car breaks down, I'm paying that. If the car, if he's short on his car insurance, I take care of that. He was like, so yeah, he drives me around because I don't have a driver's license, but I'm, I, but I'm helping to pay for the car. Like, I put more money into the car than he has at this point. And so, then he started showing them his other bills, like how he spent money when they go out to eat, and his booth rent, and how much he actually makes, because at first, you know, the sister-in-law was like, I need to see some tax returns, like, I don't believe none of this, this don't mean nothing, until I start seeing some tax returns, but as he kept going through it, and explaining it, and, and kind of giving his side of things, the, the sister-in-law and the mama started feeling differently, like, well, wait a minute, Jamarcus didn't give us all this information, like, we... We really thought that he was paying all the bills. And whenever he called, he said, no, he's not calling for me. He calling because he wants to call y'all. He said, and that bothers me because if I'm your if I'm your man, you know, we about to be, be husband and husband, you can't keep calling your mom every time we have a problem. You have to let us fix it. You have to let us address the issue. And we need to fix it together. Like, you just can't keep calling mommy. And, um... So his family was like, you know what, I'm feeling a little different. Not so much about the relationship, because they still feel like they need some help. But I'm feeling a little bit different about how I talked about you and how I treated you, because I really did think you were a bum. Like, I really felt like you weren't pulling your weight. And so that helped a lot. So then with the 20 questions, it wasn't really eventful, because... The only thing I thought was interesting was they asked him, why don't you defend Brian to your family? Like, why do you allow your family to just talk to him any kind of way. And he was like, but I'm in the middle. Like, I don't, you know, that's my family. I love him. You know, I'm sort of, I'm damned if I'm doing, I'm damned if I don't type situation, um, which I don't, I don't agree with. Like, you can defend him and say, listen, he's not that guy. And you're going to stop talking about my man like that. Like, I think you can defend him without alienating your family. But he, this weekend, he figured, you know, he had... He was given some tools this weekend, but prior to that weekend, I think he really didn't understand how he could do that. So when they came together at dinner, it started off really nice. And Brian had actually even won over, not to the point of, I'm cool with y'all getting married, but they weren't being nasty to him anymore. They were like, we really see a different side. We really understand that there's a different side here. And, uh... Uh, then they brought up the thing about him driving and you know of course they brought up the car situation and everything and so they were like well you know why don't you get a driver's license and that I don't know why that one suggestion like 
barked everything. Like he was like, I don't have to get my license. You don't need to tell me what to do. If you haven't been in my shoes, if you don't go. I was like, what the fuck? Like he like it literally went from zero to one hundred. And of course then Jamarcus's mom was like, Okay, we right back where we started because that is crazy. Like I can't sign off on that. Like, did you just see how he acted? Like that was it was really like, did you just see what he just did? Like he just acted a plum fool. And again, I can't be mad, you know, because at the end of the day, that's what he's putting out there, you know, and it was really bad. So the next morning, Terry was like, listen, I have been watching y'all act a damn fool. So maybe I need to bring in somebody that can help give y'all some tools to work with y'all anger and process y'all, how y'all communicate and how y'all react to each other. And um, so he, she brought her friend in, he's a life coach. And he was able to talk to them. And I think they did have a breakthrough on how they talk to each other, how they treat each other, how quick they are to anger, what kind of things can they do to try to resolve that anger without it getting, you know, to that explosive level. Um, the communication, like, he definitely gave them some tools of some things that they can work on. Um, and I think it was very, very helpful. And I think everybody got a breakthrough because even the sister-in-law apologized, like, listen... I treat, you know, I talked to you crazy when we first got here. I treated you really bad. And for that, I'm sorry. You know, I really apologize. You know, I didn't have all the story. And I know that now. And so, you know, I apologize for how I talked to you and how I treated you. Um, then they had dinner that night. And dinner seemed to go a lot better than it had the first night. Um, when it came back down for the blessing ceremony... Jam um, Brian's whole family, of course, gave their blessing. On Jamarcus's side, um, the best friend gave his blessing, but then the sister-in-law and the mom were like, listen, I feel a lot better about y'all's relationship now than I did before. However, I'm still not ready to give y'all the blessing on the marriage. The sister-in-law was like, I bless the, the relationship, but I do think that y'all still need some time to work through some things. The mother... Her thing was, I feel a lot better about everything, but morally, I still can't sign off on it. And that's why I was like, why y'all even bring her? Because you already know how she feels. Like, And she said, I love you, and I'm, I'm okay with y'all. I, You know, I, I, I'm okay with the relationship. I just can't accept the marriage part of it. Um, And I know people like that that are like, listen, if they want to be in a relationship, that's fine. But I can't be I can't sign off on a marriage because I don't believe that two men, two women should be getting married. So neither here nor there. Here's my thing. I feel the same way the sister in law feel. I'm like, listen, I'm okay with y'all being in a relationship. Like I support that, but I'm not ready to support a marriage because I need to see these tools in action. And I agree one hundred percent. Like y'all were straight up about to beat each other's ass you know, 24 hours ago. So I'm with her. Like, y'all, yeah, all that sounds good that y'all talk to a life coach and everything, but I need you to take those tools and I need you to put them in action before I can sign off on anything. Because again, I, you know, if it were a man and a woman relationship and every time they fought, it got physical. Like, yeah, nobody would be cool with that. Nobody would be cool with that. So, I don't know. It was, it was a good episode. It was definitely a good episode, but I don't know if I'm ready for them to get married, but they set a date for December 2020, so they got a couple of months. The, the, they said they've been using their tools, and they've been doing a lot better, so we going But honey, that was a lot. I just felt like Jamarcus was just disrespectful. Like, he calling... I mean, he... It was just... It was bad. It was bad. But he did get better, and he did realize he had an issue. You know, he did realize he had an issue. So anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Drop it in the comments. Peace.